I'm with Hopkins Pools and today we're going to show you how to do a uh, wall repair kit. As you can see here in this particular instance we have a, uh, a skimmer opening that is uh, corroding around the, the skimmer. Now if we was normally going to just take care of an area like this we have just a small panel that we would insert uh, over the top of this and then of course we would um, cut this bad area out and put a skimmer opening on a panel and we would bolt that into place. So for that reason we're going to go ahead and we're going to replace this whole section. If we don't repair this right here, this, this has a potential of exploding out once the pool is filled up. So we want to go ahead and attend to that and make sure that the whole area right here is, is covered. So as you can see we, uh, we're going to repair and we're going to put in a splice from about here over to the other side approximately six foot. You notice that on this particular pool, you have the original wall seam. Now, if your skimmer location is real close to this area, then when you measure it out for your wall repair kit, you want to take that first upright, either to the left or the right of that skimmer where it's located, and you want to take uh, a measurement from about eight inches past that first upright. From that point, you can measure off across past the skimmer or and or the return that you want to repair. Uh, that is going to eliminate this original seam because you don't want to take and put two seams right next to each other. Not that the structure is going to be impaired, but you want to make sure that you, you, you don't put something as close to that as possible uh, to cause any problems in the future. This homeowner has already pre-prepped this area for us. They, uh, we came out here to change out a liner. Uh, liner was partially removed. We're going to get rid of the rest of it in a few moments. But we noticed that they had a track of rust coming around the top, which was a lot of surface rust, some of it a little bit heavier. Now the heavier stuff being all the way up at the top has less stress on it. All your water pressure, the heavy stuff is all the way down midway and below. So as long as we didn't have this heavy, heavy stuff all the way down at the bottom, we're good to go. The homeowner has put uh, two or three coats of paint over everything, good rust-oleum paint, and has pre-prepped this. So now we're going to do the wall repair. And then we're going to go ahead and, um, and get now, this. One of the first things that we want to do is we're going to remove this beveled edge that's right up against the edge down to the metal track, uh, exposing that. And then we're going to take a straight edge screwdriver. We're going to kind of open that bottom track up so we can take and set the, the panel, the new panel up, right up next to this wall and get everything lined up the way we want. wall repair kit has been marked. You want to be careful. The edges are very sharp. It's all freshly cut metal. Also have an overlap mark. These are the marks where you want to line up on the pool wall and we're going to want to cut that down to the proper size. You're going to want to set four bolts at minimum on a kit. Don't tighten them up. Just put them on there to hold the kit into place. You're going to put one at the top, one at the bottom, and then two somewhere in the middle. That's going to be a voice here. You also may want to put a board to the back so that the wall doesn't bulge in too much as you're drilling out your, your four holes and the rest of the bolts as well. As you can see, we got the new wall pressed up against the area where it's going to go. With the uh, skimmer faceplate that you remove from the, uh, 
from the pool. In this particular instance, most of the, the bolt holes you can see they're all corroded out. Now, if they're not all corroded out, you could take your drill bit that we provide for you and you can pass those right through each one of those holes, aligning up all of the holes where they go with the skimmer. Uh, this particular installation, we're going to freelance this one because this one is pretty corroded out. We're going to use the skimmer faceplate as a template. I'm going to mark off the, the little pieces that I can to make sure that the skimmer falls out in the right place. We'll align the skimmer faceplate over it, and then we're going to pass the drill bits right through that to align that up, and then we'll finish marking out that inside, and then we will, when we remove the panel, we'll go ahead and uh, cut this, uh, this section out. Also, too, on the inside, you noted that we had overlap wall marks on there for us to cut. That mark is right here. We're going we're gonna to transfer that line over. This is where we're going to cut the old wall for the overlap so we have enough overlap past the bolt pattern. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. The return fitting and the light that we have here, they're in pretty good shape. So we're just going to go ahead and take our marker pin and we're going to mark out exactly where they go. That way when we remove the panel, we'll drill a hole to get us started and we're going to use our snips to cut that out. There's not much left guys. Okay. I got a good hole right here. I need to get this hole. That's a good one. And that's a partially good one. Mm -hmm. And then right here's a good one. Oh, lost it. That's a piece of hole right there, center. Yeah. Okay. So, now let's remove the panel. Always do that. It's like below the video. At this point, we're going to remove the panel, and we're going to go ahead and cut out that skimmer and a return fitting and a light on this particular job. It's a good idea, too. A lot of people don't have some of the specialty tools that we have to, to hold the wall up. But well, you can use just a regular pair of vice grips and just kind of clamp this wall together at the top and the bottom where you get your temporary bolts in. It's good that way the sharp edge don't spring back at you. Okay, we're and that's going to give you a perfect alignment on everything. Now following this procedure is imperative. When you take and you mark this panel as it's pressed up against the old skimmer, let's say that for instance that you want to reuse the liner that you uh, that you have in a pool you have a time frame that you're working with you want to make sure that you drain the pool down you want to install your wall repair kit and then refill that pool up on the same day start filling it because that liner can shrink up on you then you'll lose the liner but also too that liner is already pre-cut for these things as such as the skimmer and the light and the return fitting on this particular job so you want to make sure that all this stuff falls right back in the same position that's why we align that panel first we pre-drill the holes on each side once that's done we mark this out we drill it out when we put it back in a place it's going to go right back in the same exact position that it was before thereby allowing you to put that liner back into place and reusing it uh, we suggest that day before you pump that pool down about three quarters of the way leave you about a foot 16 inches in the pool 
And then the next morning when you're ready to do the job, you pump down just that little bit because that little bit's going to take you a shorter period of time to get the water out. So get that out of there, disassemble your pool, pull, the, pull everything back, and then you can proceed with the, uh, with the project. It's done very easily. That same quarter inch bit that I gave you in the, in the kit, you can uh, pre-drill a hole to start. Aviation snips have a uh, pointy uh, tip on it. We suggest that uh, that you get uh, this, this is the yellow and this is a straight cut. Uh, you can use that or you can get the, the red or the green. The red and the green, they, they one cuts left hand, one cuts right hand, so you may have to cut back the other way versus versus this way. On the, these yellow ones cut right-handed, which I'm right-handed, and they uh, cut very well. It was an airplane messing up my shot. Well, we are close to the airport, so we're going to get the airplanes. Okay. All of our holes are now cut. You can have little burrs in the in the in the holes like this. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. What you do want to do is you want to take your fitting, your old return fitting, if you're going to be reusing or a new one, and just make sure that it that it fits the hole. If it goes in and it go, go all the way against the wall, then, then that's good. That's all you need. Don't worry about if you got a few little burrs or whatever. If you have to, put a little block of wood behind it, take they your hammer, just kind of tap them. Okay. I don't want to fight you with me. You come here and push this away. Hold on, Ray. worry so much if the end of the panel is kind of flipped out a little bit. You do have a few extra screws. If you want to put a few on the edge, kind of hold it in and then tape it, you can do that. But as the water fills up, it is going to press that, that wall up against the other wall. So just make sure that you got at least three layers of duct tape over that area. Then, of course, you want to do the same thing with the bolt pattern. Your wall repair kit is now complete. To order your wall repair kit, just click on any Contact Us icon on the website. Put your general information down and write, I would like to order a wall repair kit. A salesperson will call you back shortly. Thank you.